Good morning, Van Cleve. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified when we release a new episode. Welcome back to WVHS. What a great week it has been. Haven't you noticed how awesome the past week has been, Dalton? No? Yeah, Trey, I'm gonna be honest, it's been pretty great. In case you guys haven't noticed, Austin is it here! Woo! Wait, what underclassmen are we gonna bully now? Hey guys, I was wondering. No, 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 get out, get out, leave. Okay, go, 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 one go. I go back to my. Okay, now that Trenton's gone, let's get on with the school news. Prom's coming up fast, so any juniors and seniors that want to attend prom need to bring $40 to Miss Toodle by February 5th. All seniors that want to be in the 2021 Hall of Fame can pick up an application packet in the information center outside of the library. Oh, I should uh, probably go get one then. <sighs> Senior dude, you need to be turning to Miss Dykes as soon as possible. Please. And Valentine's Day is coming up. Special orders can be bought by DECA. Order forms are in the information center in front of the library. And that is all school news for this week. And now with Maddie with the Student Spotlight. Welcome back to this week's Student Spotlight. I'm interviewing my good buddy Tristan Chambliss. Alright Tristan, where are you from? I'm from Pascagoula and when I was three I moved to Germany because my parents were in the military and I didn't move here until I was six years old. So I grew up in Germany and I got I know some German, but not that much. Is it true that you used to eat dog food? No, that that's a random question. Alright, um, what sports do you play? Track and soccer. You play track? Yeah, I play track. You got some good beats? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? Red. Why? That's an ugly color. Because I just like red. And it suits me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Because you said it's ugly. Sure, okay. Um, well, are you adopted? No. Are you sure? Honestly, I don't know. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just. What are your hobbies? <laughs> I like to ride four wheelers. I like to eat. I like to play soccer. Mm -hmm. I like to, um, I like to listen to music. Me too. And I like to eat. What's your blood type? This, I don't know. I know it. It's a negative. Okay. Um, what's your address? You know my address. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna put that on my ass for you. I hope not. What are you gonna do for college? Uh, go to MGCC for two years and then transfer to a university. What a loser. You have one piece of advice to tell freshmen. Um, I'm gonna make this good. Because I know there's a lot of good You're probably going to get bullied. Just ignore it. It'll get better senior year. Back, Back to, to the anchors. anchors. Wow, what an interesting guy. Okay, maybe. But I'm way more interesting. Why don't we do one on me? Trey, it, it's only the third week. Can you please just not speak anymore? You're almost as terrible as Austin. I really think some duct tape would be very useful about now. You really must live a dull life. You're just upset because I'm spontaneous and you're not. Ha <laughs> ha, just, just, just stop. Please hurry up and cut the teacher spot with Cheyenne. Hi, I'm Cheyenne, and for this week's Teacher of the Week, I'm doing Miss Hammonds. I wonder what kind of questions she's cooking up. Get it? Because she's a nutrition and wellness teacher? Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, Ms. Hammonds. What made you want to become a teacher? Probably the biggest thing. I always have loved school so much. First grade, I cried during spring break. My mom had to find work for me to do during spring break. I've just always liked school, and I thought, you know, if I like school so much, maybe I can help everybody else like school as much as I did. Which class is your favorite, child development or nutrition and wellness? That one's really hard because I really like both of them, but I like different things about each one. Child development, I really love just the miracle of life and teaching about it and also making sure that everybody knows proper developmental stages of small children a lot of times we think that they know things or they're supposed to know things that they really shouldn't and it's okay. Um, but I really like nutrition because 
I love watching the kids cook and have fun cooking and learn new things. And both of them really prepare for life later on. So they're both beneficial. I just like different things about each one. Yeah. What grade do you enjoy teaching? Is it, I bet it's the seniors, huh? Um, probably not the seniors. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> probably, I would say the juniors. The seniors are just ready to be out. And um, the juniors are still, you know, looking forward to their big senior year. They yes. don't know what it's all about yet. So they're looking forward to it a little more, I think. The seniors are more interested in trying to make their big decisions. Yes. What is your biggest achievement as a teacher? My biggest achievement? Personal achievement would be getting my master's during the, the pandemic and actually finishing. Um, but professional achievement just any time a student learns and they grow and they learn anything new, even if it's small, just anything new they can take um, would, is actually the biggest achievement. Yeah. What is your biggest failure? As a teacher, I would say a biggest, the biggest failure would honestly be if a student ever left my room wondering if I personally cared about them, if they were loved at all, if they left without learning anything and um, could take away that um, the class wasn't beneficial at all. Yeah. What is something you would tell your younger self? To enjoy being young. <laughs> enjoy running and your knees not hurting. Enjoy eating that donut and not gaining five pounds. Um, take life seriously, make good choices, but enjoy it at the same time. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, ma'am. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. And back to the anchors. Thank you, Cheyenne, for that segment of Teacher Spotlight. Miss Hammonds is one hardworking teacher. She really is, and onto Muscles Mosh Pit of Sports. Just letting you guys know, this is a good one. Welcome back to Muscles Mosh Pit of Sports. The girls' soccer team lost in the first round of the playoffs to Florence. Okay, let's talk about something less depressing. Well, last week, Kate Carpenter signed with Perk, and Christian Cal signed with Southwest Community College. And you know my boy Trace scored his hardest career three-pointer. Also, the girls' powerlifting team placed third in the district meet. Anna Parker, Ashlyn Davis, Ashton Evie, KK Davis, and Alexander Terry will advance to regionals. That'll be at South Pike High School sometime in February. That's the end of Buses Mosh Pit of Sports. Now back to the anchors. Wow, what an interesting sports update. Thank you, Moss. Hey, you should be thanking me. I'm the reason that everyone loves it so much. Oh my god, please. Uh, please just uh, uh, I, I didn't want peace with my right now. <laughs> okay, now on to tech time. Hello, I am tech, and you know what time it is. It is tech time. And thank you to whoever was in the student spotlight section because I heard you commented this section. Thank you. Now let's see what the super historical computer chooses. Let's talk about the Bismarck, the World War II German battleship. The Bismarck was laid down on July 19th in July of 1936 and launched in February 1939, with final work completed in August of 1940. Fully loaded, the warship weighed around 50,000 times and had a crew of 2,065 troops on board. The Bismarck's first and spoiler only mission was to leave Europe, slip past the British defensive blockade, and destroy convoys supporting the beleaguered British Islands. If the Bismarck broke out, it could spell doom for the British war. The Admiralty has two ships that are capable of fighting Bismarck in the war. The Bismarck had an escort ship, the heavy cruiser Prince Royal. The two ships that were 
to be trying the Bismarck were the old Cal Cruiser, the HMS Hood, which was the prize of British fleet, and the new, but as of yet untested battleship HMS Prince of Wales. Bismarck and Prince Jordan were spotted by the HMS Shep the British cruiser on reconnaissance in the Norwegian Strait. The cruiser shouted the Bismarck, it's because the small caliber cannon would have no effect on its thick on the belt. Unknown to the HMS Sheffield, the Bismarck radio detection system has spotted them, and the Prince Jordan was given permission to engage. However, the captain could not properly see his target in the desktop file. At 20.30 hours, or nominal military terms, 8.30 p.m., the cruiser HMS Northfield joined the ship field in shattering the fleet. However, in its haste to approach, it almost head on collision to Bismarck by coming through the fog pit. The lookouts on the very ship thought something in the fog, and Bismarck burst through the fog and opened his fire. The cruiser lay a smoke screen and fell back into the fog. At 0507 hours, 507 a.m., the weather was clear. Hydrophone operators on the Prince Joy Inn, the Negative of Nordic, two unidentified fast moving turbine ships approaching in formation at a relative heading of 280 degrees at a range of 20 knots and miles. It was the Prince of Wales and the Cook HMS Hood. Look out, spotted smoke on the horizon at 545 that day. It was the, the Prince of Rails and the Roman Command, the Vice Admiral, Lancelot Hall. The Hood opened fire at 5.52 of the Prince of Rails a few minutes later. The Battle of the Denmark Strait happened Tune in next week for the Battle, the Hunt for the Bismarck, and the Loss of Germany's Greatest Battleship. Now back to the anchors. There's a part two. You know, dude, it's honestly better than hearing you talk about yourself. I, I just wish it would have been longer. You know, I just, I don't get why you're so rude. Oh, yeah? I have a photo with you and Austin though, every single day. Well, we're both happy, so maybe you should try it sometime. Anyway, let's get, let's go on to Jesse and Dylan and the viral video. What kind of music do mummies listen to? I don't know. Why? Wow. <laughs> My dad was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer and um Hey guru tu tu sembra eti e per tutto c'è una matata Potenzione non porta del porto fratello Ah no no se ne è rapo non con eti non con eti e tutte le cotte cotte gatta tu insieme da che te e a tu mazzo del robot non ne rapo E poco non si sta cotto rapo te con apposto che sta dura fa crack Non ho detto che se ne va detto robot non è bene Ah va bene sotto tutto rimetto e vado non per su tutto il culo Ho detto che non mi rapo che non mi rapo che non mi rapo che non mi Tu no tu ni tan tu na sana tu na kana na sana na sana tu na sana tu na Thank you for tuning in to WVHS. Come back next week or I make Trey disappear. <laughs> Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you would never. You know, I have to say I kind of miss Austin. <laughs> I don't. Anyways, let's end this broadcast before I get any more ears. And do not forget, adventure awaits!